What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Crypto Airborne in the house, dropping you guys the latest and greatest cryptocurrency news and updates. Today's December 11th, 2021. And in today's video, I'm going to be talking about some more charts. Some charts, I got an on chain chart and a market cycle chart that I want to talk about that I still think is a good indicator that Bitcoin is still moving up. If you guys think that's interesting, stick around, tell you all about it. All right, guys, hopefully you're having a great day today. I sure am. Uh, before we begin, make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button, subscribe if you aren't subscribed, and turn on bell notifications. I really do appreciate it, and it helps with the YouTube algorithm. But uh, before we also begin, I also want to make note that you can check the comment section down below. I put pinned or I put uh, timestamps for all the best parts. So if you do wanna skip the market overview here, just uh, you know check that out and click to wherever you guys wanna to listen to. So really appreciate it. But uh, let's yeah, talk about the market right now. We're up 0.4% the last 24 hours. I know we've been in extreme fear on the Bitcoin fear and greed index for the last week or so, but uh, you know, I think we're starting to go up a little bit here. And I'm gonna talk a little bit about that later in some of the, in these charts that we're gonna be going over. But uh, yeah, Bitcoin's up 0.52% the last 24 hours, sitting at about 48,500. Ethereum's down about 0.17%, sitting at about $4,018. We got uh, Binance Coin down 2%. Solana's down about 3%. Cardano's down on, or, uh, Cardano's actually up 0.84%, sitting at $1.28. We did have some gainers the last 24 hours. We have Gala up 15%, sitting at 55 cents. Quant up 14.81% at 196 bucks. I got a little bag of that. We got the Moss Carbon Credit. Don't know what that is. Up 12.2%, sitting at $13.75. Top losers last 24 hours. We got Circuits of Value down about 24%, sitting at 17 cents. We got the Measurable Data Token down 21%, sitting at 11 cents. Gods Unchained, assuming that's a gaming token. Uh, down 14.37%, sitting at $7.05. Let's see, what is today? Like I said, to say, today is December 11th, 2021. It is International Mountain Day, anniversary of the Statute of Westminster for Canadians. We got Christmas Jumper Day, International Shareware Day, National App Day, Noodle Ring Day, and UNICEF Birthday. So there you have it for your holidays for December 11th, 2021. Crypto bubbles for you visual people out there. Like I said, market's up a little bit. We got some green, got some red. Hex is up 13.9%. Uh, Quant is up. Let's see, we got XRD. Radix is up about 10.8%. Let's go over to my favorites. Let's see. Ooh, a lot of my favorites look like they're down. Luna, Matic, Stormax down 4.2%. AVAX. Voyager's up though. BGX token is up 1.5%, sitting at $3.57. Love seeing that. There's also a big announcement uh, from what I hear next week. So stick stick around for that. Should be uh, some breaking news, hopefully. Uh, Dots up 4.1%. CKB's up 1.7%. That's pretty good. But yeah, Bitcoin's up 0.8%. Like seeing that too. All right, jumping over to the total crypto market cap. We're at about 2.22 trillion. See, we bottomed out. We're coming up a little bit like looking at this as you know overall health of the market. Bitcoin dominance is coming up. We're sitting at a 41.4. Uh, we've been on that downtrend since you know the 19th of October. Looks like we might have bottomed out and we're going back up hopefully. So that's good to see. Bitcoin crypto fear and greed index. We are currently at a 16 extreme fear. Yesterday we were at a 24 uh, extreme fear and then last week extreme fear. So market's looking to is you know red overall but uh, you know, this might be a great time to start buying some coins and tokens if you're new, if you're, you know, have a have a little bag on the side of, uh, you know, USDC or whatever, or some, you know, fiat to get into the market. You know, not financial advice, but uh, that's that's just what I think. So there you have it. It's going to update in about three hours and 23 minutes. I do believe we'll probably go up a little bit, you know, maybe to about a 20, 21, just because, you know, Bitcoin's up on the day. But again, guys, today's topic of discussion, I do want to talk about Bitcoin and the overall market and some of the uh, the charts. So Bitcoin's up about 0.4%, sitting at $48,604. Market cap, we're sitting at about $918 billion. 24-hour trading volumes has been about $25 billion. So Bitcoin. 
So Bitcoin, here is the daily chart. As you guys can see, we got a big green candle right there, right now on the daily, uh, sitting at about 48,680. You could look at the RSI, the relative strength index on the daily. It looks like we are like, you know, oversold and whatnot. So this is also, you know, one of the good indicators you guys can look at to see, uh, you know, if Bitcoin's gonna go up or down. Because obviously if it's way up high, you know, it's, you know, greed. So you're gonna expect to sell off after that. but. Just wanted to bring that to your guys' attention. We are low, so hopefully we're moving back up. All right, so jumping into the first uh, chart that I want to talk about. But before that, I do want to note that go check out lookintobitcoin.com. I've mentioned this on some of my previous videos and some of the charts that I've gone over. But uh, it's really, really legit. You can click on big Bitcoin charts here. They have the market cycle charts uh, right here. They have on-chain charts you can look at. They have address balance charts, the Lightning Network charts. It's pretty cool. Uh, and it's been around for a while, but I've just recently, with the market going down, trying to you know analyze all these different types of charts, looking at the data, and then presenting it to you guys, so you don't have to do the research. You can just watch my video, and I'll do it. I'll do it all for you. Be happy to do that for you guys, since you know I have a lot of time on my hands now. But uh, I do want to know. Go check out my some of my previous other videos. I did a video on the Pi Cycle Top Indicator right here, and then one of my other videos a couple days ago. I went over the Puel Multiple the Bitcoin investor two-year moving average multiplier, uh, the Bitcoin logarithmic curves, I believe I went over. Uh, let's see, I think the relative unrealized profit and loss, I talked about that too. So go check out that video as well. I go a little bit in depth, talk about it, and then um, share my thoughts with that. So the first one I do want to bring up is the golden ratio multiplier. So essentially what this is, I'm going to go over it real quick, is that it explores Bitcoin's adoption curve and market cycles to understand how price may behave on medium to long term time frames. So it uses the, the 350 day moving average of Bitcoin's price to identify areas of potential resistance to price movements. Do note that multiples are the 350 day moving average price values rather than its number of days. So the multiples reference the golden ratio, which is the 1.6 uh, line. So you take that and then also the Fibonacci sequences 0, 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, and 21. These are the important mathematical numbers. Uh, this golden ratio multiplier is an effective tool because it is able to demonstrate when the market is likely overstretched within the context of Bitcoin's adoption curve growth and market cycles. So if you guys can see here, here's like zoomed out all the way to the beginning of Bitcoin. And obviously you can see the blue line right here is the Bitcoin price that you know goes up and down. And then you got the 350 day moving average right here on the very bottom line. And then you get you know, the 1.6 uh, golden ratio and then the FIB time sequences right there. So that's essentially what these lines are. And as you can see right now, where we're currently at, I'm just gonna zoom in to say, you know, the last year or so. So it looks like we bottomed out, guys, in my opinion, right here. Like, it's hitting this 350-day moving average, and we're at the very bottom of all of these, you know, these lines. So in my opinion, I think we bottomed out, and hopefully we're going to start seeing our see, start seeing uh, Bitcoin going back up. And that's just one of the, uh, you know, one of the charts I looked at, this golden ratio multiplier. Uh, just as, you know, out of all the other ones that I've looked at, it's all hinting that we're about to go up. And, you know, continue into early next year. Who knows? I mean, I'm just some guy on the internet. This is not financial advice. I just analyze the data and present it to you guys. So that's the golden ratio multiplier. I think this is another one to put in your toolkit um, just to look at to see how Bitcoin health is, you know, in a macro perspective. So it's pretty cool. Um, so go check out that. And then the next one I want to talk about, but before that, quick shout out to Michael Corleone, uh, you know, VGX education hero, uh, Twitter spaces, he's on that, you know, panel, he's super intelligent, he's a, you know, funny dude, but uh, he's super intelligent about Bitcoin, you know, just anything with cryptocurrency, highly suggest go follow him, but uh, yeah, he actually gave me the, um, he actually told me about this next chart, the MVRV Z score chart, so Essentially, what this is, is it uses blockchain analysis to identify periods where Bitcoin is extremely over or undervalued relative to its fair value. So it uses three metrics. It uses market value, realized value, and the Z-core. 
So the first one is the market value. So that's the blue line right here. So what that is, is it's the current price of Bitcoin multiplied by the number of coins in circulation. This is the market cap in traditional markets, share price multiplied by number of shares. So that's what this blue line is right here. You can see this is the, the market cap for Bitcoin. So it kind of just goes with that with time. You can see, you know, we peaked out here, you know, around 16 April 2021 at our 1.14 trillion uh, dollar Bitcoin market cap. So that's what that line is. So that's the first one. The second one is the realized value. That's the orange line. So rather than taking the current price of Bitcoin, realized value takes the price of each Bitcoin when it was last moved. So example is the last time it was from sent from one wallet to another wallet. It adds up all those individual prices, takes an average of them, multiplies that average by the total number of coins in circulation. So that's the orange line. That's this line right here on this. And then lastly is the red line, that's the Z-score. So that is the standard deviation test that pulls out the extremes in the data between market value and realized value. So that's this red line right here that you can see that you know moves up and down. So how can it be used? So the MBRV Z-score has historically been effective in identifying periods where market value is moving unusually high above realized value. So the, these periods are highlighted by the Z-score, that red line entering the pink box and indicates the top of market cycles. So when this red line, you know, enters the top of this pink box, this is usually the end of the market cycle. So sure enough, look at this, 17 December, 20, uh, you know, 2017, this red line entered the pink box, peaked out, boom, and we went into the bear market. And then it almost entered the peak box, indicating the end of this market cycle, you know, er, back earlier this year, uh, in February, March, it looks like, and then April before we went to that mini bear market down here this past summer. So one thing I do wanna note is that it has been able to pick the market high of each cycle to within two weeks. That's this overall entire chart. It also shows when market value is far below realized value highlighted by the Z-score entering the green box. So buying Bitcoin during these periods has historically produced outsized returns. So whenever this, you know, the red line gets down to this green box, is probably the best time to buy Bitcoin. And obviously this was back, you know, 18 March, 2020, back in January, February, March of 2019, when I personally actually bought into Bitcoin around February, I bought in, it was like $3,800, I think, was my first purchase, or one of my purchases, and I was using Robinhood at the time. So it wasn't, that wasn't technically my Bitcoin or whatever, but still. Um, then you go back here, back during 2015, these were good times to buy, and then again, here during uh, October 2011 and then April 2012. So again, guys, this is another uh, chart that I like to look at when the overall health of the market is good or bad or, or whenever, just to see where we're currently at. When in doubt, zoom out, guys. I always, always say that. But as you can see, the red line right here, the, uh, the Z-score line is low right now. We're nowhere near this red box indicating that, hey, we're coming to the you know peak of this market cycle. We're gonna have the bull off top. We're just down here. So again, guys, this is just another chart to look at. The MVRV, shout out to Michael again uh, for suggesting talking this over. I like this, but uh, again, if you guys are interested in more of these charts, go back to look, look into bitcoin.com, click on the Bitcoin charts and just start clicking it, reading up on them and uh, you know, formulate your own opinion as to where we are and your, your financial choices and whatnot. So um, a lot of good data and information. And I'm just some guy on the internet, like I said, none of this is financial advice, but this is all data. So I, I analyze data, I bring it to you guys, I present it to you just so you don't have to do any of the, the work yourself. Just because I, you know, that's me. So check this out. Uh, maybe I'll do some more videos on this. I did make a couple of previous videos on it. So stay tuned for that. Hopefully you guys really appreciated all that. Last thing before we end the video, I do want to talk about a tweet from Bobby Axelrod bought the dip. He said, good morning. During both prior cycles when Bitcoin has wicked off to the golden pocket on the weekly, this move has signaled the start of a massive rally. This just happened. Well, what, will we rhyme? Notice how all three fibs were taken from the mid-cycle lows in July. So essentially what this is, he's looking back 2013 when we wicked all the way down to this golden, golden ratio line. And then in 2017, we've had a massive up. So boom, 2013, 2017, up. 
And then here we are today, 2021, we just wicked down to here, this gold mine, question mark. A little bit of hopium for you guys. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Smash that thumbs up button. Uh, subscribe if you aren't subscribed. Turn on those bell notifications. Go follow me on Twitter if you want to at crypto underscore airborne. Uh, really do appreciate it. I love the feedback. Drop a comment down below. What do you guys think? Are we peeking out uh, right now? Or is this the end? Or do you still think we have you know a couple months to go? Would love to hear your guys' thoughts. So again, hopefully you guys have a great day. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to go live tonight. It is Saturday, but uh, should be a good week. Have some things coming up. Uh, just stick around, stay tuned, and, you know, have a great day. We'll see you guys later.